Hello there. This is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another podcast. Older women looking for swag. And let me give a shout out uh, to this uh, young man. He didn't really ask for the video, but he inspired me to do it by one of his comments. And that's uh, Patrick Epps. So uh, shout yourself out in the comments, brother. You inspired this one. Older women looking for swag because we've all seen them. You go in a club or something, you chilling, you got Nana in there like trying to get you to buy drinks. In fact, I'm going to tell a story. Hey, told a story in a while, man. <laughs> anyway, right? I was in a, I remember I went to this club. Uh, I can't remember the name, but uh, for those in D.C., it was, it was in Adams Morgan back in the day, right? Uh yeah. Oh, real quick, because a lot of times people say, yeah, Rami, you always saying back in the day. Uh, that's because in recent years, this stuff I'm, I don't share with people. So anyway, right? Um, when in this club, right, it, it was this older sister, man. And she actually had, like, when I go to clubs, I don't buy women drinks and stuff. I actually bought her a drink. And not because she was so fine or had, uh, you know, she just enticed me that much. She was just so fascinated. I wanted to keep her talking. <laughs> I was like, because she was she, she was like overly makeup and everything, you know, trying to get some attention. And I was just like, damn, this is fascinating to me. And it wasn't that drinks. It wasn't no money. I had, it wasn't no big deal. It wasn't like I just uh, bought her like bought her some little shit and let her sip on that shit. But <laughs> just to keep her ass talking. Right. Because I was just like, wow. You know, she looked like the type she needed to just hang out in the church or something, right? But what's happened, though, right, you got a lot of older women. They still, basically, if you really listen to them talk or watch their actions, they still choose men the same way they did in high school. Hell, sometimes high school, I've met women in high school. Young girls in high school or like early 20s who got more sense than these women. Because y'all see, what you got is these women who something in them just never matured past the point of looking for more substance than swag. It's nothing wrong with a dude. Like if a woman meet a woman, I mean, a, a woman meet a man who happen to have like some charisma, you know, he dresses well and everything. That's cool. He got he got some swag. There's nothing wrong with that. But sometimes with many women, the right guy for them might not have that. Like if you get a woman and she wants, you know, she just wants a nice family life, nice and peaceful, right? You know, and she want a husband who ain't going anywhere, right? He's chill. He's going to come home and give her the check. The swag guy might not do it for him. But the women, you know, you know, they still want that. And usually with some women, they'll get that guy who got that charisma and try to calm him down. And then when the charisma swag dis disappears... Then they're like, you ain't the man I married. <laughs> you know how that goes, right? But anyway, you generally get two women, two types of women, generally, who go, who are still looking for swag, even in their 40s and 50s, right? Two types of women, right? One is a woman who's addicted to Mr. Goodbar. And that, that's a real thing. Like, that's all they can get off with is that player type, that dude who got that type of energy, right? That's all they can get off with, right? And, I, you know, I've met one woman like that, a few women like that, really. I remember one in particular, man. Only good dude she messed with was, like, that stereotypical player. Right, like dudes who get the player thing down to an art form, like ladies' man type, the stereotypical, like you know, uh, pretty boy, muscular, a few tats, driving, um, you know, driving like some late model car or something, you know, got the clothes, all of that. And you get some women, that's all they're going to deal with. And this particular one, that's all she dealt with. Like, if you weren't, like, there, you could have been a pretty good guy. But if you didn't have, like, all those combinations of things, she didn't uh, mess with it. Uh, to use, uh, she was kind of like a professional woman who tried to be on some baller shit. But, like, low-level baller, like, ghetto baller shit, right? 
you know, maybe not like she couldn't really deal go up there to deal with like uh, athletes and entertainers and stuff. But maybe just the next level down, like, you know, the neighborhood pretty boy and stuff. Right. So you get some women like that. They they going to stick with it. They going to stick with it. If they have a kid, you that kid going to be hella pretty male or female. Right. And you get some women, once they get that one, they constantly go for the next one and the next one. And basically, they hoes for them, right? And then that's just an addiction. And But, see, a few women can, like, maintain that. Because for a woman to do that, she got to maintain a certain level of attractiveness or at least a fat butt or something, you know, a body or something. And just be easy for those type of guys, right? But then there's another type who's constantly looking for that uh, swag in a guy. And that's... Um, that's that type of woman who never really got it. That woman hitting above her weight. Usually like a plain Jane basic type of woman. Goody goody girl, right? And that's that type of woman, like nerdy girl, who, yeah, like when they were young, you like the popular kids in high school, the popular boys, be it the jocks or depending on the school, the, uh, you know, the drug dealer working or bad boy or depending on the school, even like the class president or something, right? These were the women who never quite got that, but they still wanted it. They still wanted the top dude, right? So they still, they haven't got beyond that the top dude looked at them like they were a roach. So as they get older, they still look for it. They still want that validation, right? Now, they probably had sex with some other guys, uh, usually women like that get played by some dudes who are faking, right? Um, that, that gave me an idea for another one, right? Uh, video. Anyway, right? Usually they get played or something, and they never quite get that guy with swag to begin with. Like, there was those type of women who can actually, they, got, they can get a stable, nice guy, they can get a stable, nice guy, somebody who care for them, do everything. But they, they, they're they, not satisfied with that type of man, no matter what. They can even marry that type of man, but they still got the Joneses for that uh, dude with swag. Or it could be a case sometimes. Sometimes it's uh, like they hook up. They managed to hook up with that guy with swag one time, right? They managed to get turned out or something by that guy. And they just keep looking for it afterwards and afterwards. But they never get it because usually in that case is the type of woman who doesn't have that level of physical, physical attract, physical attractiveness and uh, sexual charisma to actually get that type of guy with swag. So, but they'll keep looking for it anyway, and they'll keep chasing. You know, they still chasing that rainbow or something, and they still, you know, I could, shoot, I could probably make money if I told women how to get that guy with swag, right? It's kind of easy, and. The thing is, they keep doing it. They'll, they'll keep doing it. And usually the type of woman who does it, they're usually that goofy type of woman, though. Really, seriously. They that, You ever see those women who are kind of dingy when they're like... They're dingy like as... Uh, they be in their 40s and 50s, and you just be looking at them and shit. You be just like, are you serious? <laughs> seriously like like a truly thorough dude like a truly thorough dude even if they got swag might not mess with those type of women right but you see those women they, they like they 40 and 50 and you're just like what like goofy or like you know if a woman goofy or dingy or whatever when she's like 20 it's a kind of cute kind of endearing and all of that and everybody trying to get in her drawers probably because she probably easy but then when she 50 55 even in their 60s still doing the same dumb shit and still picking men the same way that she did when she was 20 you just like wow and you, it, it, trust me there's a whole lot out there some of them are grandmas like you get those grandmas and stuff those are like those grandmas uh who you know They'll seriously think they can get a 20-year-old dude to shit to fuck them, even though, you know, they um, look very unfortunate with a body that uh, calls to mind not a Coke bottle but a refrigerator, right? And it's, uh, I don't know, you know, it's like this. It's like this. At some point, 
people need to mature and be realistic. And you just got a group of women who they still on that like Prince Charming type of fantasy or something, even though they're older, you know. And they probably passed over about 20 or so good stable men who would actually make love to them. And actually they would love if they were more mature. So, yeah. Anyway, that's all I got to say about that. I'll get back with y'all later. Peace and blessings.